All right, so she's got more boxes coming. She got all the goodies. <laughs> my name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. The happiest day of the week. So we are starting off our vintage toy hunt adventure at Thrift Giant. We'll be hitting up a couple of Thrift Giants today. A couple of Goody Wheels and Thrift Shitty, baby. See if we can get some of that vintage goodness. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, well, we got lots of die casts. That Coca-Cola car is pretty cool. And what do we got over here? Oh, we got a biplane, some infinity figures. What's this? Never heard of it. Uh, Superman and Wonder Woman. All right, well, let's see. What do we got over here? All right, what's this? It says Bad News Travels Fast. That's a cool looking monster truck. Oh, look at this die cast car. Lennox Steel Furnaces. That's pretty cool. That thing is heavy. All right, check this thing out. Doesn't have its propellers, but it's pretty cool. I think I had this at one point. I think it's uh, like Soldier Force or possibly Core, maybe. Does it have anything on the bottom, any markings? Nah, that's pretty cool though, man. I'm really digging that. I'm not gonna get it, but it is cool. Oh, look at this guy. Is this a uh, Jurassic? No, it's not. I like him though. He's got some articulation to him. He's just a little cheapy dino. We got this T-Rex here. This is Jurassic World. Got some more dinos right here. Oh, and check out this ship down here. Well, that is pretty cool. Man, we got some cool stuff today. Not necessarily things I'm gonna get, but cool stuff. And we got a big old pile of Marvel figures over here. Our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Thor, Captain America. It's just like, uh, what's her name? Is it like Ant Girl or Wasp Girl or something like that? <laughs> And then we've got Star, uh, what's his name? Star, Star something. Star Lord. Yeah, that's right. Star Lord. We got some Black Panther. Looks like we got some Power Rangers down here. Even a Kylo Ren. Oh, and here's Ant Man. So we got him. And then we've got. Like his wife or something, his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, and how could we forget? It's our boy Buzz. And then we got this Harry Potter broom. There's some fun stuff here today. Oh, and check out this watermelon. Oh, yeah. It's a big, juicy watermelon. $4.99. It's really squishy. Kind of almost want to get it. <laughs> What do we got here? Oh, we got a box full of farm animals, some cows and pigs and fence posts and all kinds of stuff. All right, well, what do we got here? We got a pound puppy. Okay, he looks pretty new though. Oh yeah, 2019. Oh, you know, is this one of those wrinkles? Oh yeah, it is. It's a wrinkles. So they're like hand puppet doggies, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you put your hand in here. <laughs> I'm smashing his skull. Oh yeah, check him out. Okay, yeah. He's gotta be vintage. I don't think they started reproducing these, did they? I'll have to see if I can find a tag on him somewhere. It might be under his clothes, but uh, if he is vintage, 
if we can confirm, I'm going to get him. If he's, uh, if I can't confirm it, I'll go ahead and get him anyway, because he's pretty cool and I don't want to take the risk that he could be vintage and then I pass him up. Ah, oh, check it out. It's Shotgun Red from the TV show Hee Haw. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't remember her name. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, we might get these two plushies as well. What do they want for them? Five bucks each? Well, he's four and she's five for some reason. How much is this guy? Whoops. And he's four dollars. What? Do I... Who says that women aren't worth more than men? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna get the, these guys here. Let's take a look. We might have some more vintage plush up here. Look at this. Ah. Oh. It's the uh, Vlasic Pickle, like stork bird thing, whatever. Let's see. Oh, 1989. Oh, he's cool. Then it might end up being, <laughs> being a vintage plush kind of day. All right, what do we got here? We got a Batman plush. He's got his tags. He's got this plastic head. You guys know I love plush that have plastic heads and soft bodies or plastic body parts at least like hands and legs and stuff but i already have this batman so i don't need him but he's cool oh look looks like we got another one over here his twin brother all right so i just looked and these two right here they sold as a pair recently for a dollar 99 so i'm gonna leave them behind but i am definitely gonna get this wrinkles dog they're selling for about 20 to 25 bucks, but I'm just gonna keep him in my collection. All right, so we put most of the plush back, but I did get the Wrinkles dog. I haven't been able to confirm yet that he is vintage, but my guess is with those other vintage 80s plushes in there, he probably is. And if he is, he's from like 1981. I just didn't want to rip all his clothes off in the store, you know, like embarrass him and stuff. So it <laughs> just, you know, I'll check him out when I get home. But how cool is that? man i got me a wrinkles all right up next the goody wheel baby all right my friends we're at the goody wheel baby oh yeah we about to get it on like donkey kong what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today <laughs> hopefully you got some vintage goodness so uh let's pop in here and see what we can pull out all right let's see what do we got here today Oh, that's kind of fun. Let's see. Got a fire truck. What's this? Oh, an elephant with a couple of busted legs. Looks like this was like a remote control speedboat. Got this castle playset, but that's about it. Oh my god, what is this? Little feminist artist. <laughs> feminist. Oh jeez. All right. So what else do we got? Video hounds, golden movie retriever, Pokemon, the first movie. Oh, it's like a book of all kinds of different movies. All right, y'all, we just got busted. Someone told me the other day, they were like, stop flicking your phone. I'll flick my phone if I want to flick my phone. <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> All right, this is funny. <laughs> so, you know, people like, sometimes they make the funniest requests on the channel. <clears throat> I had somebody one time was like, hey, please don't park so far away from the store. And I'm like, okay. Sometimes I wonder though, if they're like kids. You know what I mean? Cause I can't imagine an adult getting like, you know, perturbed that like I flick my phone. I don't know, maybe they're like sensory. You know what I mean? Like they're sensitive to sound or something like that. I don't know, but hey, you know what? Up next, baby, Thrift City! <laughs> yeah, let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right. 
We're here, baby. We are. We are here. We are here. At the infamous Thrift City, home of the world famous glass keys. So let's head in here and check the shelves. We'll see if there's any new bags up. The only baggy stuff that's been in here lately are like little plushies. So we'll uh, check the bag, check the shelves. We'll check the glass case. Maybe they'll have a shopping cart full of stuff too. Sometimes they do that. But anyway, let's uh, let's hope for some vintage toys, boys and girls. Let's hope for some vintage toys. Right, well, this is where the bags would normally be, but there's nothing there. Let's see. Oh, check it out. It's our boy Buzz. We've got this tank up here. Soldier Force tank. That's what the F SF stands for. Soldier Force. Here's a bag full of girls' junk. Rubik's Cube. Maybe like an MLP or an MLP knockoff, maybe? All right. Red tags are 25% off. Well, let's see if we find some red tag stuff. What's down here? We got this, uh... I've never seen a great... Oh, look at that. Actually has like a little dude on the inside. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, here's a helicopter, a hamburger car type of thing. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a Wonder Woman. Lego clock. I've never seen her before. All right, well, I might come back to her. Actually, one of my subscribers was like, hey, if you see any Wonder Woman stuff, let me know. But the thing is, I don't want to take chances and like buy something and have them be like, oh, I already have that. I don't need it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to do that. So I guess it'll just have to be one of those things. If I buy something, Wonder Woman, that they can be like, hey, I'll buy that off of you. But like to just pick one up and take a chance that they already have it, just not going to do that, you know? So, but I will check on her to see if she's worth something because I've never seen a Wonder Woman Lego clock before. Well, it looks like she's selling for about 15 to 20 bucks. But in a lot of those cases, it's also free shipping. So, I mean, it probably costs eight or nine bucks, 10 bucks to ship her. I don't even know if it works. Part of me wants to get it and take a gamble on it. I guess it's only $1.99, so yeah, let's pick her up. So I'm gonna get this and Whoever that subscriber was, if you're interested in her, I'll sell her to you for five bucks plus shipping. So you're probably looking at like $15, I guess, you know, because I got to factor in my gas and all that other stuff, you know, packaging, my trip to the post office. So yeah, you know, here, yeah, here, here it is. Final deal, 15 bucks. You got her. All you got to do is send me an email at 80s toys rock at gmail.com and say, Burf, I'll take her. So, all right, well, let's grab this. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, anything new in the glass case? It doesn't look like it. Looks like the same old, same old stuff. See, these are those shopping carts I'm talking about. Sometimes they got stuff in them <laughs> a little frog he's got like a little beanbag body these adidas shoes are kind of cool if they were my size i'd probably buy these but they're 11 and a half too big for me i don't know guys what do you think should i get these is it me should i get these and wear it in the bunker when i'm watching movies you know i got my popcorn machine in there i got my sizzling the hot dog roaster and now i can have these cool ass popcorn and glasses they're kind of fun all right i did it pulled the trigger on her hopefully if not if if, if that subscriber and i'm sorry i don't remember who you were <laughs> i don't remember your name but like if you see it let me know like i said email me at 80s toys rock rock is spelled r-o-c i'll put it up on the screen here at gmail.com um and you can have her for 15 bucks that includes shipping now uh if 
she doesn't contact me. These things seem to be selling pretty well on eBay. So I'll just list her up on the store and uh, hopefully turn her over pretty quick. It's pretty cool. All right, well, let's head on over to uh, Thrift Giant off of Mill Street and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, Thrift Giant, old thrifty pants. Man, it's like, I think I've said this before, but I'm kind of at a point where I'm almost ready to stop coming here because I just don't score anything out of here anymore. It's been so long. And the only reason I keep coming here is because my friend Teresa, she scored like on two different occasions, vintage GI Joe Mobats from this thrift giant. So like, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I definitely have something that can be here. So I should just check. So I guess it's always worth checking, but just kind of kind of gets a little defeating when you check so often and you get nothing. Let's see what we can get in here. All right, well, let's see. What do we got? We got a lot of bikes, a lot of like baby toys down there. Anything good on these shelves? Hmm. <laughs> I think we're about to get busted. How about up here in Plushville? We got the plushies stacked up today. A lot of Valentine's plushies. All right, guys. Well, there's nothing here. I did just come across these night vision binoculars. Just pulled them out here. I'm about to test them out. They feel like they're good quality. They feel decent. They're kind of heavy. Hmm. All right. Busted again. So I was this close to getting those binoculars. They actually sell brand new in the box like a sealed box for like 25 bucks but uh i wanted nine for them would have been like 10 with tax but i don't know part of me wanted to get them for myself you know because i was just like man what if like what if shit goes down and i need them you know what if there's like uh you know an invasion of some sorts and i gotta be able to see what's coming in the dark you know <laughs> you know, apocalypse type stuff. But anyway, I left them on the shelf. Let's head on over to the Goody Wheel, see what kind of goodies they got, and hopefully we can finish strong. All right, guys, so we need a, we need a win. We need a big win. So like, you know, we're, we're having some fun. You know, we're having some fun. We got a wrinkles, like it's not too often you come across these in the thrift store. We got a little something, something here that we could maybe flip. If not, uh, you know, I'll just keep her if I can't flip her. She's cool. But you know, we need like vintage jazz, like a big hit of vintage jazz. We got we got some vintage here. Don't get me wrong. This is already a vintage toy hunt. We got 1981 wrinkles, baby. But uh, man, how about some Masters of the Universe? How about some G.I. Joe? How about some Mask? How about some Thundercats? How about some Exo Squad? You know, something like that. So we're here at the Goody Wheel. We're gonna finish strong. I can feel it in my bones. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got exactly what I need. A hit of vintage jazz. Let's do it. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? Wow, this thing is still here. This Safari Rover. Oh, it's missing a wheel. I think, I think you had a, I think it had a wheel last time we were here. Oh, look at this, Hero Force. So cool. Oh yeah, look at that. I already have one of these, I don't need it. But man, it's such a cool piece. Mine's actually hanging from the ceiling in my bunker. What's this? We got an action figure here? Well, <laughs> we have a part of an action figure. It's kind of cool looking. Too bad he didn't have his other arm. Of course, it could be here on the shelf somewhere. Let's kind of dig around a little bit and see if we can find it. What is that? Hmm. Oh, there's a Jaws shark. It's not as cool as that other one I found that vintage one. Let's see. 
Hot Wheels. Hey, maybe this scuba diver actually goes with this shark. That could be a possibility. All right. We got some got some train action going on here. And then we got like this bat bot looking thing. Well, guys, I think we're going to get skunked. Look at this thing. It's just like, this has got to be Hot Wheels, right? It's got to go to that Hot Wheels thing down there, maybe. I don't know. But I am not seeing anything on the shelves. How about over here in Plushville? Got these creepy looking babies right here. Or these dolls. All right, guys, well, we just got busted. But uh, I actually got a text from Andrew, our friends over at Collectibles Cards and Games. And uh, I got a text from him like a day or two ago. He said, hey, Burf, we got some Deep Space Nine and some Star Wars on card. If you're interested, I had sent him a message. I was like, hey, send me some, uh, which was like a day late. <laughs> I saw his message when I was driving and didn't respond. Then I forgot. Then I responded back yesterday with, hey, man, if you got some pictures, send them my way. But he hasn't texted yet. So since we're here, they're like a mile down the road. Let's uh, pop in there and see what he's got. Maybe he's got some vintage goodies for us. That would be awesome. Oh, Andrew pulling through here at the end of the episode. Hopefully, let's uh, head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're here at Collectibles Cards and Games. Like I said, let's pop in here and see if uh, old Andrew will pull out those figures and let us have a look at them. I'm trying to lock my door while my door is open. That doesn't work, folks. Five box. Oh my God! Yeah. Somebody got rid of their collection, huh? Oh yeah. Oh look at that spawn. That's cool. Are these? Oh, these are playmates. All right. So she's got more boxes coming. She got all the goodies. I unfortunately <laughs> wasn't here for this, but I came this morning and saw this. Wow. <laughs> Look at all these. Oh, he's cool. Oh, look at that. All right. There is a ton of stuff here. I don't think I have him. Isn't that Worf? Yeah. I don't think I have this dude either. I've got some. Even though I don't really watch Star Trek, I can appreciate the figures, the toys, you know? Oh, whoopee. Let's get her out of here. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Looks like we got some doubles of stuff going on here. Spock. That's a cool one. Oh, he's cool too. Yeah, he's real cool. Yeah. this guy the Borg he's cool too okay so these are the ones uh, no. I'm interested in they're not priced yet so she's gonna give them to Andrew and he'll get back to me 
and let me know what he'd give, you know, what kind of deal you'd work on these six right here. So I'm gonna give these to her and then we're gonna go through that box, these boxes next and see if there's anything in there we might want. Well, we've got some micro machines, Star Trek. Major Kira Nerys. She's kind of cool. Put her off to the side. What is this guy? Commander Gaul Ducat. Okay. And then we've got this Boba Fett versus IG-88 Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Comes with a comic book. That's pretty cool, too. Okay, here's some more spawn. Oh, oh look at that, dude. Oh, he's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, I'm going to put that aside, too. Have him check on this. We got some big old boobies. <laughs> Let's see. What else we got? Just Star Trek Generations. Oh, that's a uh, Kirk. That's cool. I'm gonna put him over here too because I do not have a Captain Kirk in my collection put him there and we got a lot more Star Trek a lot of Star Trek in here okay these are power of the force I'm not real interested in those nor am I interested in episode one those were like vintage 80s or 70s yes oh, look at that dude man he's cool he almost looks like uh the predator uh, he's cool too <laughs> finding all kinds of cool stuff in here let's see And I'm not really seeing. Huh. That's a cool Pez. Oh, look, he's like all dressed up in his Sunday suit or something. <laughs> Check him out. He's uh, Captain Picard as Dixon Hill. I don't know anything about the uh, about Star Trek to know what that means. Oh, this dude's kind of cool. I like his vibrant, vibrant red color as an outfit. The outfit there. There's some episode one stuff. Look at this guy. If you notice, I kind of like all the monster looking dudes. Micro machines of Star Trek. There's some more Star Wars micro machines. from does it have a have a date on there somewhere uh, made by galoob 1993 is the year of the uh micro machines
Slave one, Cloud City ships there. Is that Darth Vader's TIE fighter? What is that? No, it's like a double TIE fighter. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Look at that. Oh, that's Star Trek. is Batman. Man, that is a cool looking Batman. And we got this Star Trek. Well, these are cool. Geeky Gary. Rod Wad. That's funny. Hmm. $19. I'm thinking about getting it. I don't know. I'll think about it. What's this? We got uh Total Recall. I'll have to check the gameplay on that. Oh, they got uh, WrestleMania. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's get that. That's only $9. And then we got Top Gun, the second mission. All right, I'll probably get both of these. I'm going to check the gameplay on this one. Okay, well, Total Recall actually looks like a fun game. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to get all three today. I may just get two. Definitely get WrestleMania. I'm trying to decide. If, I mean, this looks fun too, but I have Afterburner, which is kind of similar. So, I might get Total Recall. All right, I've made my decision. I'm getting these two. Well, hey, I just found out it's buy two, get one free. So... Let's grab the top gun. Well, how freaking cool is that? Buy two, get one free. Just like the Atari games, same sort of deal. Man, this place is awesome. It's located in Louisville. Uh, gosh, I don't remember the cross street here, but anyway, it's in Louisville. Oh, it's Main Street. It's off of uh, Main Street, just down from the Goodwill. So, but anyway, hey, if you guys are enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, that helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way. And we've got an update video coming when Andrew gets back to me about uh, the, the different figures that I picked out. So we'll see what kind of price he comes back with and maybe we'll work a little deal. We'll, we'll wheel and deal. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, hit the subscribe button because I do got a lot more great content coming your way. And almost 700 videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.